Previously on AI The Somnium Files. Hello? Are you open? One adult and one child, please. <laughs> oh, okay. Could you please not call it a rubber? You can say balloon. I do not understand. It is clearly rubber. This is obviously one of the two branching paths. <laughs> Done. Ah. But... Hey, it's fixed now. Nice. Hey. Mizuki. Kepi. And now the actual video. You look awful. Have you been sleeping any? My best friend was murdered, boss. I don't have it in me to sleep right now. Well, I, I have no I have no need to investigate anything in this room. I know what it is already. What happened to Mizuki? She's sleeping at the hospital. Oh uh, no. More PTSD for this poor kid. Ugh. They're going to give her counseling after she wakes up. Yeah, I think anyone would need counseling. I see. Whew. Her mother and her father. Now she's an orphan. Wow. I hope she'll be okay. No, she's not gonna be okay. Not in the short term. About Renju. You were the first on the scene, so you know this better than anyone, but... Renju was murdered. The door. No way this is a suicide. Yeah, no way if it's a suicide. No way is he gonna strangle himself and then fish hook himself the from the ceiling. And the eye was removed tells me that this and also the same take killer out as Shoko. Same M.O. Serial killer. Not really the same M.O. but like... The new Cyclops killer. Don't give him a name! What? Don't give that's them the a name! That's the nickname that's been spreading around headquarters. Oh, it's giving them a name is only no. gonna give them an ego boost, if you will. Yes, several years ago. Cuter. <sighs> There is no point in hiding it from him. He would Let find out on his own eventually. Hey, Dre, thank you very much for the host. It's all over the news. These murders have gone viral, so to speak. What do you mean, so to speak? The killings from six years ago have continued. The Cyclops killer is back. Oh, that's not good. Six years ago? Is that what you were talking about, boss? <sighs> Fine. I suppose you deserve to know. We have a name for it down at HQ. The original Cyclops serial killings. To distinguish it from this new one. Hmm. It was six years ago in October. Four bodies were found in the mountains of Akikawa Valley. Okay. But the decomposition of the corpses were all at different stages. Okay. They were each killed sometime during May to September of that year. But they did have two things in common. Women? They were all young women. And... Left eye missing. corpse was missing their right, right eye. Ball, pulled out posthumously. Oh, that's... That's not good. No wonder, they call, no wonder they're calling it a copycat. Damn. A few days after the corpses were discovered, the killer sent a statement to the press. I killed now, how are them, you doing, Dre? and they are now my dear companions. Yeah, the green outfit is wild. Look at that Something color. Like that. Look at that collar, it's so flamboyant. He signed the statement under the name Cyclops. Oh, Scott Summers? <laughs> Hence the name, the Cyclops Killer. The Cyclops is a mythological race of one-eyed giants. Ah, okay. According to Greek myth, they are the children of Uranus, god of the sky, and Gaia, goddess of Earth. <sighs> they could have gone... They could have used a proper non... Well, non memeable pronunciation of the planet Uranus, but I guess they had to go with your get me banned on Twitch. <laughs> Cyclops were known for their outstanding strength and smithing ability. So the letter to the press wasn't a fake? It was the real killer? Interesting. Yes, it had to be. Okay. A picture of one of the victims right after she was killed was sent along with the letter. Ugh. Uh, any thoughts on the culprit, uh, Doc? Duh. Renju had his left eyeball removed. God, that is not a that is not a a pleasing visual. It really isn't. Later, right. later, Dre. Shoko too. I hope to see you in another stream, dude. So perhaps, Mr. Date, 
You are the killer. Gasp! You're missing your left eye. So help me. I want to reach through my monitor and strangle whoever did the writing for this game. So you steal them from others? I'm not amused. Not at all. I'm kidding. Only a joke. I'm too tired for your jokes right now, Peter. Yeah, my best friend just died. Ass. Hmm. Actually, you lost your eye six years ago, correct? Um, yes, but I don't remember anything from back then. I lost my eye and my memories. I was transplanted into your empty eye socket a year later. Hmm, interesting. We have been together for more than five years. That one I know. Uh, you seem troubled. Doc? Two murders, one right after the other. With one day separating them, too. How Damn. could I not be? Uh, boss, anything else? Was this Cyclops ever captured at all? No. In six years, we never got a single trace. You're like the Zodiac killer. So maybe Cyclops is responsible for these murders as well. Maybe. Very well, maybe. No. That's impossible. Why? For one, the original Cyclops killer only killed women. Okay, that doesn't change the fact- Oh, uh, well, I mean, different MO- yeah, fair enough, I guess. Renju doesn't fit that profile. Second, all of the victims had their right eyes removed. But Shoko and Renju- Left eye. I'm missing their left eye. The timing of the eye removal is also inconsistent. It is basically an interactive manga, um- The original Cyclops killer removed the eyes after the victims were killed. Yeah, but- this one's removing the eyes before they they were killed. Oh. But Shoko and Renju were both still alive. So grim. Damn. But even so, you can't say for sure this isn't our guy. Maybe they're just doing things a little differently now. Or do you have another reason? I'm sorry, Date. I can't say anymore. You keep keeping... You keep on just not telling me things. You do realize this is making my job a lot harder, right? Bullshit, you can't. It's a national secret. How can it be a national secret? Are you sure about that? Date, please, forget about it. I told you already, you don't need to know anything about that case to investigate this one. The criminal for this case and the case six years ago are not the same. But how can you be so sure? Iba, bring up all investigation records of the original Cyclops serial killings. I already had a look through the database while you were talking. Unfortunately, I found no relevant information. Uh... I also did not discover anything of note on the internet. I mean... Only amateur theories. Uh... All lacking credibility and evidence. Damn it. Well, uh... Why are you here, anyway? Am I not allowed to be here? No, I didn't mean it like that. I was here first. Oh, well, I was fair just enough. talking to the boss about Renju's murder. Okay, fair enough, I guess. How are you holding up, boss? Of course not. Not getting any sleep. Fix. I still got a mountain of work piled up. Answering to the higher ups, the press. Fair enough. I'm just taking a little breather. That's all we have for now. Okay. All right. Special Agent Date, we need you to continue your work. Right. I think I'll head back to where Renju was found. Some fish pocket. Date, you're exhausted. Why don't you get some sleep before you continue your investigation? I'm fine. Let's go, Iba. Understood. An international audience. Oh, hey, Mizuki's with me Date, now. The vehicle is accelerating two percent slower. Than <laughs> I, I mean, there's a kid in the back seat. Did you put anything in the trunk? No. What about the back seat? Back seat. There's a kid in the back seat. <laughs> Mizuki. Uh oh. Hey, watch out! Ice forward, stupid! Why are you even following me? Okay, fine, there we go. So now it works. Well, how did you. What are you doing here? I ditched the hospital. Uh, You're probably freaking out over there right now. I'm taking you back. No, don't! Oh boy. Nothing will change if I stay at the hospital all day. You're going to investigate, right? Take me with you, I can help! How is a little runt like you gonna be any help? My thoughts exactly. I'm Renju's daughter. Maybe I'll notice something you don't. Something only his daughter would know. Yeah, but he rarely hangs out with you. Why would your presence make any difference? I don't know. My daddy was killed. I can't just stay at the hospital. Oh, fair enough. <sighs> Fine. Don't say I never did anything for you. You're going to take me along? Just promise not to interfere with the investigation. Got it. Well, okay then. How did you even get here? It wasn't locked. I just opened the door. Oh. I've been here for like 10 minutes. Oh. <laughs> Fair enough. Why don't your doors have auto locks? I know you like old cars, but you gotta lock the doors. Yeah, she's definitely gonna interfere. 100%, Kaki. 100%. You should be a little more apologetic for someone who just got caught breaking into my car. Can you really call it breaking and entering if the door was unlocked? 
so you didn't actually break anything, you just entered? Mizuki does raise a valid point. If you are not more serious about security, you should consider replacing the car altogether. You too? <laughs> <laughs> it's trespass. Uh, yeah, okay, it's criminal trespass. That, fair enough. Uh, how are you doing? Well, I can still talk this time. <laughs> wow, way to throw shade. <laughs> Maybe I'm just getting used to it. Damn. Mizuki's psychological wounds have been healed by the same. No, they have not. Trauma like that stays with you for a while, I know. Uh, <laughs> nice weather we're having. So... You were talking to yourself again. I heard you. It's creepy, you should cut that out. Just tell her that you've got a computer living inside your eyeball, that's fine. I was talking to Aiba out loud before I noticed Mizuki in the car. That must be what she's referring to. Ha! Mizuki is still unaware I exist? Yeah, I know there's no reason to hide it, since she already knows I'm not a biz. But it's just... Hard to explain. Hard to explain. H how is it hard to explain? All, left, all you have to do is take out your eyeball and go, Look, I've got a sentient AI, well, sort of sentient, AI living inside my eyeball and that's what I'm talking to because we can talk non-verbally. I won't say anything yet. Understood. But I am ready to be introduced at any time. Oh, friendly Just enough. Just let me know when the time is right. Yeah, fair enough. It's not a proposal, no need to be so formal. Shit, I said that out loud. <laughs> Date, I think you should go to the hospital. <laughs> You got mental problems! No, it's more like I don't like sitting still and moping all day. Fair enough. I've grown out of my brooding pretentious teenager phase. You're 12! Odd thing for a preteen to say. Are you not aware of Mizuki's mental prowess? She is far more developed than her classmates. She's 12. She is even reading psychology papers by Alfred Adler. I say again, she's 12. Sounds pretentious to me. Uh, how about to your dad? Hey, how about Renju? Do you have anything to tell me? Anything at all that might help? <laughs> I'm all under my age, I swear, Mom! Well, it's, it's just a Daddy, face! But I heard from Daddy that Mom had a secret. Oh, Shoko had a secret? What secret? Why are you not telling me? Did you know that Mom was the representative of an investment company? Uh, no, I did not. Yeah, I did. That whole company oh, I, was a well, big he scam. did, I didn't. Oh, shit. Scam? Well, I don't know the details. Hold on, let me put on the auto thing. They start up a company to get people to invest in it, then shut it down on purpose and keep the money. So like a pyramid really scheme like or something. Shogo did this? Wow. Yep. By herself? No, dummy. Of course it was with other people. I saw gangsters there sometimes. Oh. If she ever got into trouble, she had them take care of it. Wow. This lady with the Yakuza. That means they must have been... That, yeah. Very, very careful. Anyway, I'm glad to know that you're okay. I'm not okay. So, you want to go back to the hospital? I'd be more than happy to drop you off. <laughs> That's not what I meant. <laughs> what? Yeah, she'd Why be are you lying. So pushy, Date? I'm not pushy, I'm just worried. You've got a weird way of showing it. Doesn't look like you're worried. You're just weird. <laughs> yes, because I wear purple and I wear gloves all the time. Yes, of You've course. always got something smart to say, huh? And I've got two eyes of different colors. You're just like Renju. Oh, wow. Date. Oh. What about Daddy? Nothing. Ooh, low blow, Date, low blow. You have no tact, do you? No, you don't. This is why you're single and always will be. <laughs> <laughs> well, she got him. <laughs> <laughs> That's where you're wrong, kiddo. I look like a single father when you're around. Chicks love it. Are you sure about that? Yeah, chicks Up love early, to see huh? creepy Wait, old men 10, hanging out with so a sixth it's... grader. Hey, what are you, you have implying? a good day at work now, you hear? Ooh, did I make you mad? Now I'm stuck in a car with an angry old creepy pervert. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Kaji. You're the one who broke in here and tagged along. I wouldn't have these problems if you just stayed in the hospital like a good, good little girl. I am not an old creepy <laughs> pervert. And even if you were my age, you're not my type. Um, kick her out at speed? <laughs> <laughs> this bitch empty! Yay! Ew, I don't want to know about your type! Hey, you started it. <laughs> He's got a point, you know. Stupid old man. <laughs> Punk-ass kid. <laughs> She's getting on my nerves. Ugh. <sighs> Okay, back at Sunfish Pocket, 10.33 a.m. on a Sunday, working the working the weekend as a good good police officer should. Mizuki and I walked back into Sunfish Pocket. Ah, uh, Detective Date. Good to see you, sir. And this is... Have you looked through the case file yet? Oh, boy. Oh, oh I am 
so sorry. <laughs> bom bom bom. She's the victims. Yes. Please let us through. Yes, please let us through so I can conduct a case. An investigation of the scene. Ah, uh, yes, I see there's. Okay, so. Looks like those are like beer kegs, don't they? Like the metal kegs on the ground? Those are like beer kegs, don't they? Yep, they are beer kegs. I was right. Evidence marker, evidence marker, evidence marker, table. Uh, oh, CCTV. Iba, did you get anything from the surveillance <laughs> camera? Unfortunately, no. All of the recordings from local surveillance equipment have been erased. Ah, I was gonna say, hang on, that's kind of strange that they wouldn't have any cctv um, footage and then now you tell me this and it's okay also someone just backups? someone just whispered me and asked me hello um mr follow mr followbot i would not like you on my stream thank you very much please go away what about backups there are none oh come on a respectable place like this doesn't keep backups of cctv footage come on nothing was uploaded to the cloud either of course they are using cloud servers for security cameras typical well not typical but you know what I mean. Um, okay, beer keg. Renju's corpse was hung up by three wires attached by beer kegs. The wires were tied to three kegs. Each keg has a capacity of 20 liters. All three kegs were filled in approximately 55 pounds each. I like how you went from metric to imperial in the span of two seconds. Uh, okay. Oh, this is the inspector. Is this- are, are you- are you that same fanboy again? What? I was asking for your name. My name is Kagama. Oh! Yeah, you are the same guy. No, we didn't find anything today. Is that a... It more closely resembles a harpoon of sorts. That's a trident. I believe this is a trident. Yes, it is a trident. Any chance this was used in the murder? Nope. No, there are no traces of blood on the trident. And no indication that Renji was... It's cosplaying a fish, it's okay. Uh, dude, her daughter is standing... His daughter is standing right here. Wow, rude. <laughs> Dragon's been... Palace Pasta. 1800 yen. Oh, God. 1800? Isn't that pretty average? This is average? Yeah, that's not average. Uh, I can't click on the hook for some reason. Uh, beer kegs on the floor. So the killer used three beer kegs filled with, filled full of, I guess, like water or something, uh, to match the weight of Renju so that he was just, he could have been suspended above the floor, right? An evidence marker. It's a little marker. That's what I'm checking evidence at a scene. Oh, okay. Uh, hi. A chair. Oh no, that's not a chair. This is Mizuki. Uh, notice anything strange? Um, hmm. You were telling me earlier that you could spot things only a daughter would know. I know what I said. I'll tell you if I notice anything. Ha boo. Do you remember what you saw last night? How could I forget? I'll never be able to get that image out of my head. There's a lot of ways to kill someone, most with a lot more tact. Yes, you are right. Not until the day I die. Wow, that's grim for a 12 year old. I thought I already told you. Sitting around rotting away in the hospital would be worse. Still. I know what you're trying to say. For a little girl to find her dad like that and then want to go back to the scene, I think it's totally weird, right? Yes, I do. In fairness, it is also weird for an adult policeman to acquiesce such a request from a child. <sighs> and Nandate's just like, you're not helping. But this is what I wanted. I didn't want to run away from it. Okay. I wanted to confront it. I didn't want to be weak. You're nothing special. <laughs> these past few days. Ah, I see. I thought so. Once this is over, get some rest, all right? You too, Detective Date. Oh, that's nice. Uh, ooh, let's look at these. All oil drums. The capacity of this oil drum is 200 liters. Now I have to learn and do exams and be go to school and be an upstanding member of it society. <gasps> pounds when empty. Let me check inside. Uh, ooh, yes, please. No, oh, ooh. Hey, it's a watch! What? There's something inside. <clears throat> it steps up to the drum. This is the oil drum. This is the kind of oil drum that has a lid, right? Correct. Let's open it. I, I, I like how they cut away to the fact that you didn't, you didn't animate them opening the lid. This is... Isn't that... That looks like a... That's a gold watch. Renju's watch? What time... This is the wristwatch Renju always wore. No doubt about it. But how did this get here? Uh, oh, wait, where's the watch? Damn it. Is the watch still at the bottom of the drum? Okay, no, it's not. Good. Uh, how do I, how do I, um, check the freaking watch that I got? Damn it. The, the corpse was strung up near this counter. The autopsy report indicates that the contents of the victim's intestines were excreted upon death. Typical bodily reaction when you die. 
but no traces of that have been found in the area, nor on the corpse itself. This evidence makes it highly likely that Renju was killed somewhere else. Killed and cleaned somewhere else, yeah. It must have been considerably difficult to carry more than 150 pounds. So we're looking for someone strong. Renju weighed approximately 158 pounds. Yeah. I can estimate a person's weight by analyzing their bone structure, muscle, and fat. Hmm. S still kind of strange though, right? Sign boys, the sunfish pocket, beer kegs. Okay. Oil drums, another trident, boxes, nothing. Barrels, nothing. More barrels, nothing. I would really much like to look at the watch. Did you hear me? I said I'll tell you if I see anything. <laughs> Pictures of girls. What are you staring at? Creeper. I agree. <laughs> no footage of the incident. You see the kitchen back there? Nothing looks suspicious. What am I looking for? So we got the watch, right? So how am I supposed to examine that if it's not with me? God damn. This club is located on the second floor of the building. We use the elevator to get here. Iva. Can you check the operation records in this elevator? Ah, there's, there we go. More evidence. Found it. The elevator records are sent automatically to building management. Okay, so we need to go find building management. According to the record from yesterday, from 6.30 p.m. until the body was found, this elevator stopped on the second floor only once, at 8.55 p.m. The weight of the car's cargo was approximately 310 pounds. So, so the elevator only stopped on the second floor once, 8.55, 310 pounds, mean feasibly it could have carried our dead guy in here right it's starting to make a lot of sense uh, lifesaver 200 liter capacity and weighs 44 pounds empty they want me to do math don't they 20 liters weighs 55 pounds so one liter is roughly two pounds ish so this so these oil drums can be 400 pounds okay so they definitely could not have been taken up by uh the oil barrel jeez you're Fishy men are seen as desperate. This is why no one likes you. Wow. Besides, Date? Hmm? Never mind. Just do your investigation or whatever. What was she gonna say? Now is not the time to worry about such things. Fair enough. Mizuki hey. is looking at a spot where you found Renji. You doing okay? Oh, sorry. Just staring. If you're having a hard time, you can tell me. I'm fine. Hmm. It's not like the body is lying here. It's in the morgue, probably. Hi, what's your name? It's Kagami! Okay, uh, anything else? Iba. Oh! Can you recall the time we discovered the corpse? So obtuse. So obtuse. Of course. Zoom! Duh! <laughs> That's creepy. There are deep impressions on his neck. Yeah, he was strangulation. He was strangled. Correct. The face shows clear signs of congestion, along with petechia around the face and throat. Yeah, makes sense. Both are clear evidence of asphyxiation. Mm hmm. Any indication of the murder weapon? Most likely a twisted piece of cloth. The culprit approached Renju from behind and wrapped the cloth around his neck, choking him in an cloth. attempt to suffocate him. Twisted piece. Okay, yeah, I mean, that would make sense, but. The specific cloth? cause of death is cerebral circulation failure due to vessel closure in the neck. Okay, that's, um, that's but more about simply, right. The suspect strangled Renju to death from behind. Thank you for repeating yourself. Do we have an estimated TOD? Yesterday, around 8 p.m. So Renji was murdered about two hours before Mizuki and I found the body. He was murdered while they were still at the park. Oh! The autopsy report discovered the presence of benzodiazepines. He was, he was on drugs. It is a common sedative. The dosage found in the victim's bloodstream was extremely high. He was drugged. It can be assumed that Renju's cognitive functions were heavily impaired before his death. Left eye removed, pulled out, this of course. This bears similarity to Shoko's. The left eyeball was Oops. removed Oops. while the table. victim Sorry. was still alive. Uh, anything else? Body? The time of discovery was 10.20 p.m. You of course already know this, but you and Mizuki were the first to discover Renju's corpse. The body was hanged from the ceiling, similar to how a fish would be. A yeah. thick hook was embedded in the upper jaw, and the wires connecting to the hook were strung up on one of the ceiling beams. Mm -hmm. There was also a hook on the other end of each wire. The three beer kegs were attached to these hooks. So elaborate. We have found no fingerprints. Of course. Killer must have worn gloves. I think we've checked everything we need to. Okay. I agree. We should compile our evidence and inferences. Mizuki, you ready to leave? What? But we aren't done investigating. Oh, I am. What do you mean? There are still people I want to talk to. Like who? Uh... He was barely conscious before he was killed. Yeah. Do you want to talk to Oda, Iris? Any places you can think of that I don't know about? 
I mean, well, he's dead. There is Imp. one place. Have you heard of Golden Yokocho in the entertainment district? No, I have not. Daddy used to go to a place called Marvel a lot. Maybe they know something about him. Huh. That's nice. You want to talk to Oda, your creepy... Yeah. Oda is in here all the time. He might know something. Your creepy 24-year-old... Not, I wouldn't say stalker, but like friend who's like more than a friend. I'll call him. Ota's phone is broken. He dropped it in a puddle. Sounds like Ota. He's so clumsy. Ugh. We'd have to talk to him in person. He's probably at Lemna Skater Matsushita Diner. Okay, and what about Iris? Yeah, Daddy owned Lemna Skate and Iris works for them. She used to work here too. Oh, so she might know something. I'll call her. That's oddly convenient, don't you think? Mizuki tried calling Iris, but there was no answer. Okay, she might be at Lemnis Gate, I guess, or at home. Have any idea where she might be? I don't know. Iris is into a lot of things. Uh, let's, uh, well, let's head out then. Lemnis Gate, Matsushita Diner, and Marble. Okay, three let's places. Head out. Okay. Finally, we can actually go to more than one place. Huzzah. Okay, first, uh, let's go back to the diner. Let's check in with uh, Miss. Let's check in with Mrs. O, uh, Mrs. Matsushita and see whether her son is here or there. Rather. 